weirdness. It's a word which means differ from person to person. Some would say weirdness is good, while some will protest against it. But what does the word weird mean for MMA fighters, and what kind of weird things do they do out of the octagon? Well, some of their weird things are coming right away. Ronda Rousey, a Pokemon girl. This is very true of Ronda Rousey. She's in love with Pokemon, a nerdy side of her. I used to know her as an American actress, WWE superstar, and a UFC legend, but from now on I'll refer to her as Pokemon Mew. Her UFC record is 12 wins and only 2 losses, but this isn't the fascinating part. She's a former women's bantamweight champion. In 2015, she shared with social media that she used to be a Pokemon moderator. First, Pokemon was a Charmander, and my first one was Pokemon Blue. Where she revealed that her favorite Pokemon is Mew. Her Reddit profile was then filled with questions related to her craze. One of the questions was which type of Pokemon would you like to fight in the octagon? She answered Throw, because he'd challenge me the most. If you don't know Throw, he's a judo Pokemon found in the fifth generation of the game. Her answer shocked the whole Pokemon community, because only serious players who kept up with the game could even know about it. Rhonda isn't shy of sharing her nerdy side, but proud of it. Donald Cowboy Cerrone Donald Trump, sorry, I mean Donald Cerrone, is an extreme fighter of the welterweight division. He slanged cowboy as he dresses like one and the guru of kickboxing. Despite all the thrilling inside the octagon, he takes it to his outside normal life. He's in love with the octagon as well as crazy things. Nowadays, he frequently visits the sky just to excite himself. The adrenaline is something he craves for. When jumping from thousands of feet isn't enough, he goes deep down the depths of the ocean. He always finds some silly, exciting things to do off the octagon. Quentin Jackson Quentin is nicknamed Rampage thanks to his storm-like performance in the ring. You'll find him kicking some of the greats in the back. When some of us know him for earning the Pride Middleweight Championship title, some of us know him as a motivated fan of Fast and Furious. The story of his wild car chase leads back to 2008. Don't know what was on his mind when he hit two cars on the way to Newport Boulevard. After a minute or two, a police officer tried to pull him over. While the officer didn't know he struck two cars on his way, he was running down with a flat tire and then he was talking on the phone. Instead of pulling over, our rampage went on a full rampage and thus the car chase began. When around 10 police cars, some motorcycles and a helicopter were chasing him, he then blew some other cars with his truck. He then turned to the sidewalk, almost hitting pedestrians. Finally, he pulled over for the police when everyone was aiming guns at him. This scene reminds me of Need for Speed the Run. He's still criticized for this wild car chase. Jason Miller Jason is known for his flashy entrances and rousing fighting style. Nicknamed Mayhem. Any fans of Mayhem here? Well, then you'd know about his church incident, won't you? If you don't, let's start his story then. This story started in 2012 at a local church in Orange County, California. But let's start the story with the policeman's point of view who arrested him. That seems way more fun. For the police, it was some kind of disturbance reported by the pastor. When they entered the church, the floor was stripped down with pictures and books all over the floor. A fire extinguisher was set off with fog all over the place, leading to the second story. The walls were sprayed when they went upside. There they found Mayhem sleeping naked peacefully on a couch. After all this mayhem, the policeman asked him his name. He began to mumble, Mayhem, Mayhem. They didn't know the slightest idea of what he was, so they declared him obstinate. He was then carried to a jail hospital where he was treated. He then apologized several times for his actions, but this left a big stain on his character. Diego Sanchez a UFC superstar since 2002, Diego's won the Ultimate Fighting Championship 1. But for all his performance, he thinks of something else giving him all the power. Since his entrance into the UFC, he's known as the most eccentric personality. He has a habit of doing yoga at bizarre and unusual moments, but that isn't the strange thing at all. It was in Las Vegas during a stormy and blustery night. Thunders and bolts of lightning were covering the sky when everyone was taking cover Diego went out to practice yoga in the pouring rain. He believed by doing so, he could harness the energy of lightning. Tell me, what? That he can harness the energy of lightning? 
This guy needs to visit a psychiatrist daily. But that wasn't the only time he did something crazy. You'll find his whole career filled with such mischief. Fabricio Wordham When some have goody habits to show online, on the contrary lies Fabricio Wordham. Of course, Fabricio is a former heavyweight champion, and he's a master Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It doesn't make him a typical average fighter. He's best known for his fights outside the ring and gay slurs. In 2017, he smashed Colby Covington with a boomerang. I'm sorry, this wasn't a scene from Jumanji. It was a verbal fight started by Colby. Colby was repeatedly insulting his hometown in Brazil and its people, calling them animals and other bad words. As a result, Fabricio hit him with a plastic bag. In there happened to be a boomerang which directly hit Colby's neck. From here on, the weirdness is increased in a sketchy and bad kind of way. Edalberto de Oliveira, nicknamed Krakota, is the former UFC player who competes in middleweight. You might hear his trainer saying that he's a quiet kid and then he's surprised by his actions, but in 2011 he did something really stupid. What was his act? It's on its way. Within a week after he defeated Nielsen Nunes in 2011, he did something senseless, which resulted in his arrest in his hometown of Salvador, Brazil. He bit his girlfriend's cheek. No sillies, he wasn't trying to give a hickey to her. Why would he get arrested for that? It was between a fight of the two of them when he rushed over and bit her cheek. Part of her cheek was torn apart. She was then taken to a local hospital. Krakota was then arrested for his actions, but it left a big scar on the woman's face, which will constantly remind him of this maniac. Lyoto Machida Known as the Dragon is one of the most successful and deadliest fighters in UFC and overall MMA. But have you ever wondered what is the reason behind his successful fighting career? You're going to regret wondering that. Lyoto Machida drinks his urine. What? Is he out of his mind? Who drinks urine at all? I mean, yeah, Bear Grylls has drunk his urine several times, but he did it for survival in creepy places. Leoto, on the other hand, drinks it for protein supplements. Why spend hundreds of dollars on protein supplements when you could just drink your urine? He drinks it daily in the morning. You know the fun fact? He was asked what it tastes like. The answer was that it depends on the day you drink it. I should have told you to skip the last one, but it's something you should never miss. Oh, I'm sorry, but you've reached the end of our video. I hope you liked it. Then don't forget to press that like button for all the research we did. And subscribe to the channel for more entertaining sports videos. Lastly, don't forget to comment down your thoughts about all the weirdness of these fighters and which one did you like the most. Asking me which one was my favorite? Well, I hilariously laughed at the car chase of Rampage and Mayhem at the church. So I'd call them the winners of this list. We'll see you in the next one.